The graph of the equation y equals one half to the x has an asymptote. Sketch the graph of y equals one half to the x and write the equation of the asymptote. So in this problem, we're being asked to sketch a graph. The first thing you should think when you think of sketching is, can I do this on my graphing calculator? So you certainly can. You can put in one half to the x into your graphing calculator and you'll get a pretty good representative shape of what this thing looks like. You can sketch it, you can represent that, um, and then you, f you can figure out what that graph is asymptotic to. What is the equation of the line uh, that is an asymptote for that graph? So uh, the more manual way to do it would be to put in, um, put in a table of values. So I'm going to go through that because I think the danger is that if you put it in, in your graphing calculator you may not get the um, different coordinates that are actually on the graph and if you don't show that you run the risk that they'll take off some points so that you won't get full credit because you'll have gotten the right answer but you won't have shown all the work necessarily so let's let's go ahead and make a table of values um, let's put in some values of x that might help us get a handle on where, what this thing really looks like. So let's put in negative 5. If we put in negative 5 we get um, 1 half to the negative 5 and what that does is that effectively flips it so that equals 2 to the fifth which equals 32. What if we put in negative 1? Then that would flip it, right? So then it would just be 2. If we put in 0, anything to the 0 is 1, right? If we put in 1, 1 half to the 1 is just still 1 half. What if we put in 2? 1 half squared is 1 quarter. What if we put in 5? 1 half to the 5th would be 1 over 32. So you notice this thing is getting small really fast. And then it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, coming closer to 0. But no matter how big a number you put in for x, it'll never quite get to 0. It'll always be 1 over something. So you can already start to guess what this graph is going to look like. And uh, let's go ahead and do a big, a big graph. All right. So our first point was negative 5, 1 half. So negative 5, maybe that's somewhere out here. And the point was 32, which would be way up here. So that's negative 5, 32. Then we have negative 1, 2, so maybe that's here. Let's suppose this is 2. And then 0, 1 is on the graph. And then 1, 1 half. So that's 1. 1 half would be about right here. Uh, 2, 1 quarter. 2, 1 quarter. Now we're getting really close to the x-axis. And now 5 might be out here now it's almost on the x-axis, it's very close. So now let's take a shot at trying to graph this. See if we can get it to kind of curve the way we want it to. Alright, and then it's an asymptote at the bottom. So it's kind of hard for me to show, but what I want to represent here is that it gets infinitely close that's not very good. It gets infinitely close to the x-axis to the point where it's so close that you almost can't even see it. It almost collapses with the x-axis. So this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So the horizontal asymptote that it approaches but never gets to is the x-axis whose equation is y equals zero. Right? That's a horizontal line that passes through the origin that's the equation of the x-axis, so to speak. That is the asymptote. Asymptote. And that's the graph. And if you want to embellish this a little bit, you can go ahead and put some of the points on there. You can say this is negative 1, this is negative 5. You can go up here and say this is uh, 32. It doesn't have to be perfectly to scale, but it does have to match the table of values that you provide. If you just draw the general shape out of your graphing calculator and you don't back it up with a table of values and you don't label the points, then there's a good chance that you won't get full credit. But if you do and they match and you've gotten the asymptote right, then you'll certainly get full credit for this problem.